Coach, with four starters returning, this is the most continuity from one year to the next that you've ever had at New Haven. What's different about this preseason? Not much, to be honest with you. You know, we always um, uh, start the season off in a similar fashion, uh, talk about what's important, and then we coach them like they haven't learned anything. Uh, even though we have guys who have been in the program for three years, some are guys like Cyrus and Eric for two years. Um, we do start from scratch and build from there. Maybe the one thing that's changed is maybe not as many reps with some of the things we're teaching. Uh, but then I think in order to be successful year in and year out, you are going to have to change some things. So obviously in the offseason, we've looked at those things and uh, some of the things that we're showing that are new, spend more time on. But uh, excited about the veterans that we have coming back, the good players we have coming back. But it's been very similar to uh, seasons of the past. One thing that is different this year is that the expectations are higher. Is that something you address with your team or do you just ignore it? Yeah, we've addressed those things. You know, I, I think we're pretty uh, transparent with our team. Um, you know, I think this is such a good group with great leadership, especially from guys like Jeff Atkins, Justin Exum, Ashanti DePass, the seniors. Um, you know, we've addressed it, uh, but we've also shown what the pitfalls are of um, conducting yourselves a certain way with those expectations. Um, and we have such a mature group, a group that's been together for uh, quite a long time. I don't think it's, uh, it's been a huge focus, but we have addressed it. And one of the players with individual expectations, Eric Anderson, the reigning Northeast 10 Defensive Player of the right. Year. Talk a little bit about his development and what he's meant to the program. Yeah, we've had a lot of good players here the last three years. Eric is one of those guys. You know, he's getting some uh, accolades and some publications for honorable mention All-American. Um, you know, he's obviously a tremendous defender as a sophomore defensive player of the year in the league. He's a great defensive rebounder. Um, and really what separates him from most players, I believe, not just his size, he's 6'8", 240, but he's just a very smart, intelligent player. And, um, you know, now we've moved him on, around the floor a ton this year. We're going to actually put him at the guard spot as well. Um, so we're going to be able to put him in a lot of different places. And because he's such a good thinker, a good seer, a good passer, and because he can really play a, a lot of different spots on the floor, you know, he's, his development has is, is really blossomed mainly due to his uh, focus to detail, his focus on improving. Um, but it's exciting to watch his development. I think he'll be one of the better players in the region. Uh, your two other all-league players from last year were in the backcourt, Justin Exum, Jeffrey Atkins. Uh, talk a little bit about how we can see them used and uh, the benefit of having two senior guards out there running the show. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun so far. They, um, obviously, they know it's expected every day. They're the same players every day in practice. Had great leadership, especially with our younger guys and newer guys. But both of those guys are very accomplished. You know, you look at Jeff Atkins, he's improved in every statistical category since his freshman year. Uh, he's had a great preseason, two great scrimmages. And obviously, Justin has provided a huge scoring punch for us since his freshman year. You know, he's been over about 15 points a game, freshman, sophomore, junior. We expect that to continue. Uh, and really what he brings is he really stretches the floor. He's one of the best three-point shooters in the country. And those are some of the names that we know. What surprises do you think? Who might surprise you, either a newcomer or a returning player? Yeah, you know, Cyrus James has had a great, great preseason. This is the best he's looked since he's been here. You know, he's put on good weight in the weight room. Uh, he's been much more aggressive, especially on the defensive glass. You know, it was really great to see. Um, but he's really developed, and he's been really much more confident, and um, he's really shown the improvement. And then Samir McDaniels is back after an ACL last year, missed the whole season, so he's been a great addition to the program. Ashanti DePass has had a great preseason, obviously. And then our two newcomers, Johnny Acasio and, and uh, Jamal Mosley, have really added some good things to our program, some shooting, some perimeter scoring. Um, so we're excited about all the, all the new pieces and uh, some of the guys who have returned and with, uh, with better games. The Northeast 10, always a difficult schedule in and of itself. You've also got Bloomfield, who joined you in the right. East Regional last year. So talk about that tough schedule in the conference and outside of it and how that will prepare you. Yeah, we're going to play good team. So, uh, you know, I think we're a good team as well. So it's a good challenge for us. Um, you know, we're not looking too far ahead. We haven't really talked about any opponents yet with our, with our group. But um, it'll be a challenging schedule. Um, and I think when you're a good team, you're coming off an NCAA tournament year, those are the games you're going to find non-league. Um, so our first game at Holy Family on the 13th should be a really good test for us. And then moving from there, obviously, the Northeast 10 is, you know, last year was ranked number one by several statistical uh, websites in the country as a conference. So obviously it's a very difficult conference schedule as well. Coach, thanks for joining us. Good luck this season. Thanks so much.